Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How are all my adventures doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the little bits of the things that I have planned to show you guys today. Uh, it's not a lot because the main things I wanted to show aren't done yet. So, that'll probably be another week or two before the rest of it's done. So, as these things come out, I'll probably show them. But it really depends on what goes on with the current thing I'm about to show you guys. So I did make a poll to if you guys wanted to see a longer video of everything all together. So waiting those last two months or so, or get everything that I have right now. Everything that I have right now is pretty short. Um, first things first is the discord. I am currently working on the Must Grow Utopia Discord. Well, I was working on it this morning when I woke up before I went to work. So I had to get that going and everything. So that's currently being a work in progress. I had to plan out everything of how I was going to do this. So, yeah. This is an invitable. It is going to go with the other surprise that I have. Another surprise is the Patreon. Yes, the Patreon is now a thing. I've gotten asked this like twice if I was going to actually make a Patreon. And here, here you go. So the biggest, the bigger secrets are these two posts right here. I managed to post these before I went to work this morning. These are the two bigger news that's supposed to come in the next two days. So, only have one tier available. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more tiers or just keep this one. But for a slime lover tier, you would get information as soon as it hits my inbox on here. So, basically, as soon as my artist sends me like sketches, you guys will be the first one to see it. And I pretty much won't spoil anything until those monster girls are actually like done. Then I'll probably like open up posts and stuff like that. And that's yeah, once this, once the information goes out on the YouTube is when I'll start opening up posts. But it really depends on like what the post is. Well, yeah, I, I spent quite a bit of time like getting everything situated for this. Uh, I will also be making a video or outro. It'll be made by me to where I have a list of tiers and those who join the Patreon. Now, it won't be a giant thing. I know that. Like I said, I don't know how this is going to even work out because I know I don't have like enough supporters for the game in the first place. It just, it might happen once I like started getting the actual stuff I need to start working on the game and getting that progress going forward again. Because most of you guys have been keeping up with the YouTube like community tab and I've given you guys updates about like issues that are going on and stuff like that. It's actually, it's actually funny. Did I ever like discuss that in my uh youtube okay so me and the developer i talked about that disappeared for a long time and went on a vacation without telling me so yeah they went on vacation without telling me that they went on vacation. They thought they sent the battle system to me, but they did not. So, uh, yeah, I was supposed to have the battle system in like August, on August the 8th, apparently is what he told me, but I guess they didn't send it through. So I ended up canceling the order and stuff like that. But, um, it's it's fine 
I mean, they said they're probably going to send it through, but even if they don't, I... Eh, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on right now. But everything's slowly getting fixed. I know what route I want to take the battle system, but it's just going to be one of those things that I need the actual, like, actual main core of the stuff to get done. And it's currently a work in progress of things that are getting done. Well, we'll discuss that when uh, I get the rest of the work I need and show you guys the rest of the surprises. Unless you guys are that curious and want to spoil it yourself on the Patreon. But yeah, that'll be quite a few days. Um, I was thinking about a certain situation of releasing a Patreon getting stuff for a month. Then the next month, I started slowly releasing the stuff on a Patreon on YouTube. So let's say I posted this today and for a month, the Patreons will be exclusive to all this information. Then it goes down the slow train of the next month of people getting new stuff and new information. That's kind of what route I'm thinking of, either that or two weeks before they get the information. It really depends on how much support the Patreon actually gets just so I can keep that that fair because they, you know, wanted the, the information before anybody and it helps support the game. If you guys are just wanting to support like the game, this is the best way to do it. I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, so the goals currently <laughs> We do have goals and goals and milestone. 500 is the key point to where the game can support itself because I, I wouldn't be digging into my pockets too much as I'm working. This will help with the extra like actual budget because that's normally what I keep my budget at like every month is 500. I don't go over 500. If I hit that budget, I s completely stop ordering off of pay off of like a uh, Fiverr into like I pay off my credit card or either the, into the new month starts. 500 is the budget into the next month. That that's pretty much how it goes. I'm not going anywhere over that. 500 is the budget. Now, if we reach a thousand, I'll be able to explore a lot more sailors and, you know, kind of dig into more music, more fancier things like flashy animation moves. Voice actors is something I really did think about for the Monster Girls, actually. For the Monster Girls, I was thinking of just giving them actual like voice lines. That's only if we reach that. Either that or I'll figure out like sound effects and stuff to give them like Pokemon does. Like those little random noises that Pokemon make. Either that. And the main thing I want to do for like the cutscenes is a manga style of cutscene. You guys know like the manga panels or the comic panels. Stuff like that moving back and forth instead of like animations just because I always found the manga style a lot more pleasing to look at and I feel like I want the people to go at their own pace with that's my thought process personally <laughs> so yeah and who and like I said who knows it could, maybe could start other projects because maybe I could get very invested in the cutscenes and maybe make a manga. Who knows? Or comic for us. Maybe I can make a comic out of it. If we read 500, I'm immediately quitting my job and committing to the game itself. Because 5,000 would be able to help support my family and me. And I will be able to work more on the game, YouTube, streaming, 
pretty much reaching my dream as a content creator and a game developer. And if we ever reach 10,000, I'm immediately grabbing the people who are currently working on the game and I'm hiring them. I'm monopolizing the people who are working on a project. That's what I'm going to attempt and see if they're, you know, down with that. Who knows? Because they have said they enjoy working on the game. So maybe it is possible if we do get there. Who knows? These are just, you know, milestones, goals. Since Patreon removed like the actual like goals and milestone feature for some reason. I don't know why they did that. It was odd. They literally tell you to tell you that this feature is no longer available and to try doing it through posts or something like this, like like what I just did now. So yeah, that's basically what that is. <laughs> I was sitting here like, wait a minute, that was your best feature. Why, why are you removing that? But um, if I do make other like if i do make other tiers what benefits would you guys like to see is the real question because i would like to know that too because in my head like it needs to be something that i'm capable of delivering and it doesn't cost like a crap ton of money to deliver it If you guys have any ideas, please put it down in the comments. This will help the Patreon for sure. And it could interest you guys in something new. Um, as for the Discord, it that Discord is mostly made for the Patreon. And I'll connect it to this. And it will be like its own private community for the game. And I will discuss news or well, game newses and hosts probably like some events or stuff like that. So basically setting up channels like fan art, community events for like art contests, maybe, maybe it'll be like an art contest and you get your character made by Mono in, it, in his own design and it can probably add to the game for questions and Q and A, um, ideas, suggestions, game news, discord news for any like discord changes or game changes um off topics social media links and stuff like that that's that's kind of what i'm going for inside of the discord for when i uh actually make it that's a plan at least and maybe we'll have some secret polls for the um, patreon maybe there'll be some little secret poses secret polls that you guys will be able to do who knows Ugh, okay, this is this was actually like unsettling for me because I didn't have like too much like planned. <laughs> that that's kind of why I'm just kind of like all over the place and discussing this now because I didn't have too much because most of it hasn't been sent in and some of it I just don't want to just throw out there just yet. That's why I just said, screw it, I'll put it on the Patreon if people want to actually, like, see it that badly. They have the Patreon. I said I was going to make a Patreon, but the game is starting to dig into my actual, like, pockets a little deeper than I thought it would. <laughs> and we're making so much progress to the point where I, I kind of want to do more but like i said i'm keeping myself at that 500 limit no matter what so i'm limited into what i can explore and get i know some people have been hoping for more music but right now art and game developing is the most important thing for me right now if i had the extra money i would go into go back into music for the game you know, come up with like special things for certain monster girls that you encounter or certain NPCs that you go up against, stuff like that. I have no problem like making like early songs or getting early songs made for the game. 
or getting voice acting and showing it for the game. And I, like I told you guys, I plan on getting the Monster Girls animated as well. So that's also a plan to do. He has a, well, I'm not sure how many people have seen the example that I've shown of Tigora being animated, but it is in one of my videos that I've shown before. So if you guys haven't seen that, I believe it's, uh, Oh, I was in this. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in this video. If I remember correctly. The possible future video. I think. <laughs> yeah, it was in the possible future. So I could have the Monster Girls animated like this after their remake. But Tigera no longer looks like that. You guys can also see Tigera's like actual art down here, her actual new art. And currently you can see Elf Girl sketch for when she's going to be made as well. So instead of just keep rambling on, I'm going to end it there because yeah, that's that's pretty much the main thing that I wanted to get out for this video and i will be back in the next well i'll have more information on what's going on between my uh fiber stuff <sighs> how do i say this i'll i'll get back when i have more things to share that that's how i should i should word that i'll be back when i have more things to share also remember that it is spooky month so i will try and be playing horror games on the weekend when i can so expect some spooks i wish i can do the whole horror month but i have to work and my job has gotten a lot more laborish so i am exhausted and in pain so, so it's gotten to the point where I got home and I was about to fall straight to sleep, but I was like, oh, I promised you guys a video. <laughs> so that's so I immediately get, got up and I was like, ah, I might as well record it now. So yeah, spooky month on the weekends and I'll try and play some spooky games. Maybe if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, my main game that I do want to play, well, the main two games I do want to play is Catherine because it's a game I had on my Steam account for so long and have been wanting to play for so long. And then there is The Beast Within, which is another horror game I've been interested in playing as well. If you guys don't know, I used to be like a huge fan of horror games and used to play a lot of them, but I slowly went into MMOs afterwards because MMOs were like really popular around the time and I was really enjoying myself in MMOs. But then the MMOs started dying off and I kind of regret not staying in a horror scene considering how much fun it was. But it, it bees like that sometimes. It bees like that. It bees like that. Maybe. Maybe in the future I'll go back to some more horror based stuff. It really depends on how good you guys respond to it. Because I, I would love to revisit like games like Yamawari. I enjoy the hell out of that game that's probably one of my favorite horror games compared to uh, the park which the park was just great in storytelling for me personally but that's it i'm gonna stop rambling on here i'm getting off topic with that said i'll see you guys on the next one until then peace out